Hi guys, this is How Moms Do It here. I uh, today want to talk about how to have positive thoughts. And I think this is super important because I feel like we all kind of struggle with this at some point in our lives. I have, ex I have struggled with this so much in my past and I just wanted to share five things that have helped me have and stay on track with positive thoughts. Uh, number one is avoiding speaking negatively to myself. Um, and in your case, yourself, uh, it's so important to tell yourself that, you know, instead of like cutting yourself down and comparing yourself to others, you know, I am pretty enough. I am smart enough, you know, just turn those phrases around because I can stare in the mirror and say, you know what, you know, my hair doesn't look as nice as hers or I, my skin's not as nice. You know, there's so many things we can pick ourselves apart on, uh, but why waste that? We were given our bodies, um, we were given the bodies that God gave us and we should just be proud of what we have. And I know it is hard sometimes, so you really have to push yourself. And some things that I've done have been right on the mirrors, like with this, uh, I use, it's a chalkboard marker, but you can use it on windows and it comes right off with just a wet paper towel. Um, but just, you know, anything that you're thinking that day or that morning, just turn the phrase around and write something positive on the mirror. Feeding yourself positive language will turn your mindset around. Um, you just have to make a habit of it. Number two is um, surround yourself with positive people. I mean, it sounds uh, pretty simple, right? But it actually can be hard to find positive people out there. Um, I have been very fortunate enough to have a handful of people in my life that I feel are positive influences on me and who always cheer me up no matter what kind of mood I'm in, I can be around them or talk to them and it's like instant booster. Number three is to help someone else. Okay, so self-explanatory and I know a lot of people have heard this, but you know, when you focus on someone else's issues, all of a sudden you forget about your own. Um, and when you think about people who have it worse than you, all of a sudden you're like, okay, now I feel pretty selfish. So yeah, focus on someone else, whether it's helping feed the hungry or just um, bringing dinner over to a friend's house. And number four is don't play the victim. It is so easy to blame people on where you are in life right now, but it is no insult but our own. We have full control over what we do in life. And so it is just so important to focus on that. What are some steps that you can take to get where you want to be? And just start focusing and working on that. Um, and lastly, but most importantly, number five is to pray. I can't tell you how many times I felt better after just talking with God and praying. Um, he has made me feel so much better. I don't think he's up there with a magic wand granting wishes, but I do feel like that if you had a pr if you said a prayer and you said, God, help me to feel good where I am right now. Um, I don't feel the best of where I'm at, but help me deal with this situation. Help me be okay with what I'm doing or where I'm at. Um, and so, yeah, I think that prayer is a big, big one um, that you cannot be ignored. So those are my five tips to have a positive thought or positive attitude. I hope that you're able to use them and that they help you out uh, when you are feeling down or when you're thinking when you're having negative thoughts. Until next time, Happy New Year. Bye.